My name is Javan Wade. My name is Perso Ascot. And my name is Dee Carty. And we are a collective of uh, comedians, um, actors, writers, producers. And we go by the name of JPD Free Entertainment. <laughs> Yeah, 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 we say we're on this, on this. and on that. on that, but we ain't on nothing. On nothing. We was running to the back, man. Cause we ain't on nothing. 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 They don't wait us in the street. In the street. Cause we ain't on nothing. Cause we ain't on. What was your personal journey? So how did you actually meet? Like how did you come together? Like like Jay said, 14 years old. I knew I wanted to be an actor. And then um, I applied to the Brit School and I was performing art school based in Croydon and it was just that prestigious school that I knew that once I could get in there, hopefully it would amount up to more opportunities. And then yeah, I, I met Jay and um, when we, we did the Shakespeare play um, at the Brit School, Much Ado About Nothing and um, we were the leads in that and I think we just instantly had this chemistry where we was like a, just a good team basically. And then from that point, we just kind of, Maybe we didn't say it as much, but I kind of knew that I'd be working with him for like, the rest of my life. I mentioned earlier about some of the drama school you as well. Mm-hmm. What was your view briefly said you didn't go to drama school because you eat them up? Yeah. So obviously you guys collectively got together and started this online thing. What are your views on that or what what would be your advice to someone that isn't gonna go down the drama school route and wants to do something online or yeah, I think I think we're going to say different things, uh, which is which is fundamentally why we're uh, so because we have the differences in terms of opinions. But for me, I would say um, as soon as I said to my mum that I'm not going to go to drama school or uni, I said to her, I'm going to work hard. I think for me, I the reason why I didn't go to drama school was because I felt like one, I have a passion for TV and film, and I believe that drama school is a very um, dated way of getting into the TV and film industry. I do believe that if you you know, you know, are really passionate about theatre and that's what you want to be doing then, yeah. and drama school is really good for that because even just down to the training that you get. I remember when we did um, that careers day, when people come into the British school and they say to you, this is um, you know, how it works in drama school. This guy came in, he was from Lambda, and he was one of the seniors there, and he said, you know, you're trying to scare everyone. He's like, oh, there's only um, about three uh, percent of drama school shoots that actually make it uh, in the industry, let alone people that make it to like the highest level, like Hollywood, etc. And then, you know, everyone's looking at that, and everyone is kind of almost scared of, of the fact that, okay, if I go to drama school, there's such a low chance of me getting into the industry anyway. But then, even when I look at Brit, and I was coming out of Brit, there was uh, eight people in our, in our strand, in our year group, and there's only about four of us, five of us working now. So it's like, it, it's nothing to do with, you know, going to drama school and blah, blah, blah. It's all to do with people and uh, people that want it enough or don't want it enough. Um, challenges, yeah, again, it's like, these guys are saying like, it's hearing no so many times, man, that it can really, really get to you. And especially when you think, you feel like, nah, man, I was good enough for them. You know, we created a show that was more than good enough. You said no, man. Really hurt you and that place. And as I said, you become very critical of yourself. It's good to see where you've gone wrong and stuff. But sometimes I think you can do that too much. Sometimes you do have to set, accept that you have done well, you have put in the work. Do you know what I mean? It's just not being being accepted. It hasn't been embraced by the right people yet. You know what I mean? It hasn't happened yet. It's going to happen. Um, and it's important not to focus on that and, and go ahead because I don't know, man, that's a really when you're doing that, you're just putting out the wrong energy. You're going into to meetings with a chip on your shoulder when you shouldn't be. Do you know what I mean? And that, that can stop you from getting something that, that is deserved. Do you know what I mean? Um, you could just ruin your whole day. Today's event. Okay, so everyone here. Inside of the Obviously the online side of things and TV, but television isn't always a way to go. Like there's online other stuff that online said that Matt McGraw said. Just um, to keep going, do you create your own opportunities. Don't always rely on people. I would advise it to anyone out there. Hundred percent. I wasn't even gonna come. I'm so happy I did take one. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Thank you.